Hey everyone, Selena here. So today we're gonna do a review on Revel's Holochrome Collection. So first I wanna show you the Revel's Holochrome Collection when I unboxed them from their bubble wrap envelope. So here you go. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that unboxing. I love the colors, I was super excited. I mean, I still am, I still love them. So here they are in all their beautiful glory. The whole point of this video is I first wanna show you swatches and then give you a brief review of what I personally think of the product. I am a, not a nail tech, I just am a hobbyist at home. So I wanted to try out these new designs uh, with glitters. I only have one other, other glitter in my collection and so I figured I could add more since online different YouTube channels I was watching and seeing how beautiful hollow glitter can be and how fun. I also saw a friend of mine and she had the like hollow chrome on top of her nails and it just looked so cool. I loved it so I went and googled it and thus Revel Nail came up. They had come up a lot though on my social media outlets, so on like Instagram and Facebook. I saw advertisements for this company. I just honestly don't really know much about them and haven't heard a lot about them, so I was a little skeptical about buying it, but I'm happy I did. So first though, I want to show you swatches of each of these colors. Unfortunately, I will put a disclaimer, I didn't use the hollow chrome topping on all the swatches that I'm showing you, so you will see that they only look like glitters. But the pink one, I did do the hollow chrome topping on top. So I hope you enjoy the swatches real fast. So here you go. swatches showed you what the colors look like because I looked on their website and it was just a vector image of what the color should look like and I don't really like seeing those colors because I'd really rather see like a picture of the color on a nail or I would like to see something in real life of the color so that's why I wanted to make this video to show you guys each of the colors. Next I had looked on YouTube to see if there's any videos about swatches because I'm really big on educating myself and really like researching everything to see if I want to buy something and there was no videos up. There was like two videos from their actual website but again the nails like I don't even know why but they like showed the steps of them putting it on but they didn't actually show pretty much the colors. They just kind of showed the nails kind of far and then when they did show the nails it was briefly like this and I know it's probably to try to show the glitter refraction because they look beautiful in person and you can't really capture it with the camera so I will put that as a disclaimer. Uh, I tried many different ways and so as you can see here are two videos that I used uh, to show you guys kind of what they look like in the sun. So I hope you enjoy these videos. I had so much fun in the sun. I love showing it to my friends. I loved just like playing in the sun myself. My first review is that these glitters are so jam-packed, filled with glitter. It's phenomenal. I'm so happy that they have so many, so much glitter in there, so much of the hollow powder in there. It is amazing. I will say though, go slowly when you do apply it onto your nails because I went too fast, as you can see here, and I had some lumps in my swatches because I was just going too fast and I didn't realize that could happen. Again. Uh, next is due to it having so much glitter and so much impact it will be like almost completely opaque in just one layer and that was amazing i have another glitter from another company and i was actually pretty bummed out because that glitter took me about three layers to have it be semi-opaque it wasn't even fully opaque at that point so these ones the fact that they can become opaque in just one layer blew my mind. Like I was super excited about that. I love it. They just have so much glare. I'm so happy about that. Next is they remove pretty nicely. So after soaking it in acetone, the glitter layers that I used, it just like came off really, really easily. And I think it's because there's not as much acrylic in here. It's more of the glitters that are in here. So I will say it was nice to remove those layers. It was 
pretty much like a piece of cake. Next is the tack free top coat. So I've never had another tack free top coat. This is my first. So I can't really say if this is good or not, but I will say it has a pretty decent shine. Not as much as my usual like gel top coat that I use. I don't use uh, the top coats from Systems for dip powder. I like gel for that. So this one to me was really cool and it cured really fast. So this for me in my like LED light, which I thought was curing things slower because my normal gel took like took about 60 seconds. And this one only took about 15 and it was pretty much done. So that was pretty cool. I will show you here in this little snippet, you'll see that here's the difference between having a tack free and a regular gel coat that is not. So this is the tack free one. As you can tell, it's more evenly distributed, I feel, of the like hollow chrome. It looks like it just, you get like the full rainbow like hollow effect that doesn't look all that like fractured in a sense. While with the gel normal top coat, you still get a brilliant effect, but it kind of looks slightly fractured. It looks like some places are slightly uneven. So I will say that I understand why the tack free one is more recommended for this kind of product for a chrome finish of hollow. Uh, next is the applicators are fine. They work fine for me. Uh, I didn't use the technique that they had on their website of dipping my nails in and then rubbing it. I actually would just dip the applicator in there and then rub it onto my nail and that worked perfectly fine. Uh, these glitters are definitely more of a linear, oops, are more of a linear hollow finish. For the top, it's not going to be 100% coverage. Personally, I enjoy that because I think that was the whole premise of these is you kind of want the color underneath to shine and then the hollow chrome on top to just give it a nice finish. Makes sense that these are like that. If you want something that has more of 100% coverage, then definitely go buy the hollow chrome powder uh, other than like buying this and hoping that it'll give you two in one. Uh, it does give you a nice topping, but it definitely won't be 100% coverage. Other than that, uh, I guess I wish that there was a gold in here as well. There for some reason is about two different kinds of black, which is Uptown and Dreamer. So Dreamer is more of, I think, maybe a dark gray. Uh, it has some different colored glitters within it, but it mainly looks like black gray. And Uptown is completely black, which I love. I love the Uptown one. I could have gone without, personally, the Dreamer. I think it would have been cooler if this was a gold color, so maybe in the future they'll add it. But overall, I am very happy with my purchase. I'm really excited to try different designs with it. I was able to use them as both a design topper and an accent kind of thing, as well as just an actual glitter base. And the hollow shines through whatever way I use them. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you an idea of what these look like. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye!